Welcome to the Televent DTN IQ Feed Web Help videos. My name is Curtis Thompson and I'm a customer service rep here for Televent DTN. Today we're going to be discussing the differences between the continuous contract and the back adjusted continuous contract and what the differences are between the two within IQ Feed. The main differences between the two continuous contracts. The continuous contract rolls to the next contract as is and will often have a gap between the previous contract and the current contract. While the back adjusted contract will adjust the previous contract's data to the current contract. Data is adjusted to remove the gap between the previous and current contracts and also some contracts are not back adjusted due to sparse trading within that future. How is the date adjusted? We calculate the difference by using the close values from the day before rollover for both contracts, the current contract and the new front month contract. The difference is then added or subtracted to all the price data prior to the new contract. This takes away the appearance of any false gain or declines in prices due to the rollover. Once the contract rolls during the next rollover period, the values will change again to follow that contract. As you can see on these two time and sales screens, we have the previous contract for the electronic live cattle of August 2012 and the current contract of live cattle for October. We will take these two prices, so 126.025, and get subtract it from 118.075 for a difference of 790.95. This day, this price here will actually be then added to the open high low close of all of the data from August 31st back to line it up more closely with the October contract which is now in effect. On this screen you can also see this is the normal non-adjusted continuous contract chart. And as you can see, there is a considerable gap in the data from the August, end of August to the October contract. On a back adjusted contract chart, the gap is now gone because the data has been readjusted to line up more closely to the back to the current October contract. And here's a good reference of the two with the non-adjusted continuous contract or at LE pound which has the gap and the back adjusted contract of at LE pound C which has no gap and you can also tell the difference in the data itself since we have the August 31st selected here the current the actual data was 118.075 so for the close on August 31st, but on the back adjusted, it's now 126.025 because it has been adjusted to line up more closely with the October contract. Once again, this was a web help video on how to spot the differences between the normal continuous contracts and back adjusted continuous contracts. If you do have any questions or concerns, please contact us in customer support and we'd be happy to help you out.